Grade 4 math, number 121, perimeter, not area. Going around the outside of something, like a fence. That's the perimeter. Perimeter is the distance around a shape. Think of a fence around a backyard. We total the lengths and widths to get the perimeter. Length is represented by an L, and width is represented by a W. The green area, see, that's the area. The black part, that's the perimeter. Very different, right? The area fills the inside. The perimeter is the border, the edge around the outside. So a perimeter is a total distance around the outside edge. To buy enough fence for this house, we need all these measurements, don't we? We need 35 feet, 40, 35 feet, 40. So if this is a rectangle, these two ends are 35 feet and the two sides are 40. In order to get enough fencing, we need 2 times 35 and 2 times 40. We need 2 times the width and 2 times the length. Okay? So, 2 times the 35 feet for both width sides would be 70 because 35 times 2 is 70, and 2 times 40 is 80. See, 2 times 4 is 8, and you add the 0. When we add the 70 and 80 together, we get 150 feet for the perimeter. That is how much fencing would go around the outside edge of this yard. See, the perimeter is 150. Take a look at this funky little drawing I made. So, we're going to count the outside edge here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay? So imagine that this was a chicken coop or a garden or something that you wanted to put a stone fence around or some chicken wire around so the chickens don't get out. Every time it curved in or around a corner, we had to put a little piece of fence there, didn't we? If these were the wooden posts, okay, that we were putting the chicken fencing around, we'd have to come around these posts, wouldn't we? So we would have to count this inside and this inside. So going all the way around this shape is 18 units for the perimeter. But when we count the inside area, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So the perimeter is 18 units, but the area is only 14 cubes, 14 squares. So don't be fooled. Perimeter is different than area, okay? The distance it takes to walk around the outside of your house is not the same as how much carpet is laying on the floor on the inside of the house, okay? Two very different measurements. So if we wanted to figure out the perimeter for this rectangle, it has two equal side lengths and two equal end lengths widths, okay? So to get the perimeter, we add length and the width and the length and the width. Another way of saying it is length times 2 and width times 2. See? 1, 2, 1, 2. So we could just multiply the 7 times 2 and add it to 4 times 2, right? So 7 times 2 is 14. That's 2 times the length. And the width is 4 times 2, which is 8. We add the 2 times the length plus the 2 times the width, and we get a 22-inch perimeter. See? 14 plus 8. Because there's actually 7 here and 4 here, isn't there? Yeah. How about a square? Well, one of the traits of a square is that all four sides are equal, right? So to get the perimeter of a square, we just multiply one side by 4. If this side is 3 and it's a perfect square, then all the sides are 3. We can either add 3 4 times, or just say 4 times 3, 4 times the length. See? 4 times 3 is 12, so we know the perimeter is 12, because all four sides of a square are the same. All right? So here we have a shape. When we look at it, it looks kind of like a diamond, but, you know, if we tilt our head, we can see that it's a square. So it says that this side is 8 feet and this side is 8 feet. Well, we know that they have to be 8 feet, because... If this side is 8 and this side is 8, and it's a square, those have to match, right? 
So we multiply 8 times 4 and we get 32 for our perimeter. Here we have a rectangle. It's got a 2 inch width and an 8 inch length. We multiply 2 times 2, which is 4 inches, and 8 times 2, which is 16 for these two sides. Add them together and get a 20 inch perimeter. For this one, we've got a 7 centimeter side, so we know that's 7 centimeters. This is 28 centimeters, so that must be 28 centimeters. So we multiply 2 times 7 centimeters, which is 14, and 2 times 28 centimeters. 2 times 28, 2 times 8 is 16. We carry the 1, put the 6 down. 2 times 2 is 4, plus the 1 is 5, so it's 56. So 2 times 28 is 56 centimeters. We add them together. And 4 plus 6 is 10. We carry the 1 and put the 0 down. 5, 6, 7, 70 centimeters perimeter. See? So there's actually a formula that older kids and grown-ups use, and it's 2L plus 2W. And it's their way of saying 2 times the length plus 2 times the width. And you'll see that in high school and college. So... That is perimeter. That's how you count a perimeter. And it's not area, right? The area is the inside space. The perimeter is the outside edge fencing space, right? That you'd put a fence around. I'll see you in next video. I bet you can't guess what we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about area. Hopefully I'll see you there. Bye.